Hello lovelies. Now you guys already know that I am all about making life in the kitchen easier, which is why all month long I am solving your weeknight dinner dilemmas with some of my favorite quick and easy recipes that come together in a flash, but also happen to taste absolutely delicious. And today it is all about this amazing chimichurri beef and rice skillet. And let me tell you, the flavor factor here is like an 11. It's absolutely incredible. It's nice and bright and fresh tasting, but also really hearty. So perfect for fall. All of your ingredients can be prepped during your Sunday meal prep. So come Monday or Tuesday night when things are a little bit busy, all you need to do is throw it all in the pan and let it cook. How easy is that? The other thing I love about it is that it is a single skillet dish. And let's be honest, who couldn't live with fewer dishes in their lives? Am I right? Now, if you're not familiar, chimichurri is this really flavorful sauce that hails from South America. It's usually served with beautiful beef and it has a lot of fresh flavors. And I've basically used the same ingredients that go into that sauce as the inspiration for this dish. Now, to get started, I have got a nice big skillet heating up on the stove. I've got a little bit of oil here. You guys know how much I love my cast iron skillet, but you can really use any sort of pan you've got at home, no big deal. And just as soon as that oil is nice and hot, I'll go ahead and add my ground beef to the skillet. Now I'm using ground beef here, because like I said, beef is really typically paired with chimichurri sauce, but you could swap in some ground chicken, some ground turkey, or even some ground pork in this recipe. Tofu and veggie crumbles are another option as well. So there's lots to choose from. Now what I wanna do is cook my ground beef, breaking it up with the side of my spoon, just until it's no longer pink. Now I'm seasoning my beef up with a little salt and a little pepper, and just as soon as it's no longer pink, I'm gonna go ahead and add some flavor to this. So I've got some diced onion, a little bit of diced red bell pepper. So I'm just gonna let this cook for another two to three minutes until my onion and that pepper start to soften up. And then it's time to add some garlic to this. I've got two cloves of minced garlic headed in here, and I'll let that cook for another 30 seconds or so just until the garlic is nice and fragrant. And then it's time to go ahead and add a rice to the skillet. So you can use white rice like I'm using here, or brown rice would totally work. Your cooking time may need to be adjusted just a little bit depending on the kind of rice you're using. At this point, I'm also going to add my seasonings. So I've got a little bit of smoked paprika headed in here, really beautiful flavor a little bit of dried oregano, and some red pepper flakes for the heat. If you don't like the heat, by all means, go ahead and leave them out. I wanna give those spices just a chance to heat up and reach their maximum flavor potential before I add my liquid to the pan. I've opted for beef broth here to stick obviously with my beef theme, but if you wanted to use chicken instead, you definitely, definitely could. It's nice to get that really beautiful savory flavor from your broth. And then we just wanna bring our broth to a boil and we'll reduce our heat to low, pop a lid on this, and let this cook away for about 15 minutes or so or until all of that liquid has been absorbed and our rice is nice and tender. Okay, so at this point, oh, this smells amazing. My rice is fully cooked and everything is looking so good. Now it's time to really get in here and add the chimichurri flavor to this. And the first step to doing that is going to be adding a nice big splash of red wine vinegar. So chimichurri has a bit of acidity, a little bit of tartness, and it comes from red wine vinegar. Next, I wanna go ahead and add some freshly chopped cilantro and some freshly chopped parsley. So this is all about the herbs. If you're not into cilantro, you can double up on your parsley, that's fine, but what you want is that beautiful freshness. I'm also going to take this opportunity to season this one more time with some salt and some pepper and then we'll just give it a stir and it is ready to be served. See how much of that beautiful green comes through? We're gonna serve this top with some lime wedges that I like to squeeze over top and we are ready to dive in. That is so flavorful. It's got that rich beefy flavor. It's nice and savory, a little bit spicy thanks to those red pepper flakes and so much freshness courtesy of all of those beautiful fresh herbs. This is an absolute winner. 
honestly, you cannot go wrong with this recipe, guys. It's beautiful, it's flavorful, it cooks up in no time, and there is just so much to love. I hope you'll give it a try for yourselves, and if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, the full written recipe is linked in the description box below, and you can find it on our amazing meal planning site, healthymealplans.com. It allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. How much easier could it be? Thank you as always so much for watching. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.